we have an exciting game here, a non-conference tilt. They call it the Basket Bowl. <laughs> we'll see exactly what that means. 12 p.m. Eastern time, Duke heads to Lawrence, Kansas, to take on the Jayhawks. And Kansas, a 7.5-point favorite right now. Latest line at BetUS. The total sits at 66 points inside Memorial Stadium. Good gracious, that, you talk a lot of points. Uh, Duke won this game last year, 52-33. to 33. Now, obviously, that was early in the Lance Leipold uh, era here. Duke 4-0 against the spread, against the Big 12. They are 1-8 against the spread on the road. Uh, that's not good. Kansas 6-0 against the spread in their last six games overall, but they are 3-10 against the spread in their last 13 at home. Kyle, we're going to start off with you on this. Uh, Kansas has already hit the over 2.5 win total, so that's good for the people that did take them, put a little a little pizza money on the Jayhawks here. Uh, 148 to 30 last week at Houston. A lot of love for the Kansas right now. This line was at nine, jumps down to, uh, excuse me, seven and a half. How are you feeling about the Jayhawks and the Blue Devils? Gary, first, real quick, I wanted to say I was seeing what Richard said in the chat. Y'all helped me win 21,000. Man, that's amazing. Uh, always bad. happy to help out and it's been a great start to the season. So I uh, love seeing that for sure. Thanks for following along. But uh, I think in this one, Gary uh, and Parker, I think I might actually disagree with you guys. Usually we agree a lot more than we disagree, <laughs> but I think it's kind of nice to have a disagreement. So based on the way you guys were talking, I think we might disagree. Kansas spotted Houston 14 points last week and then just blew them out. Um, that was a really good call, Gary. So definitely a good call on that game. Jalen Daniels, this guy's good. I, I think he's a good quarterback. Uh, how about this improvement? Two years ago, he had a PFF grade of 38.7. It's about as bad as you can possibly get. So far this year, 83.1. Tremendous stuff. I think it also speaks to the improvement of the offensive line for Kansas. They've played much better. I think they probably have a top 30, top 40 offensive line in the country. Zero sacks allowed so far this year. Now, Duke has looked really good. But my question is their strength of schedule, 170th. And uh, whether their wins are really as impressive as they look. I mean, South, uh, Southern Illinois just beat Northwestern as well. Um, Temple's awful. We know that for sure. Kansas has the much better wins at West Virginia and Houston. With the line coming down, I, I kind of think I like Kansas in this one. I don't know if we'll get a seven, but uh, I'm, I'm not sure that Duke's as good as they look like they are, and I'm pretty confident that Kansas is much improved. So I'm not going to bet it, but I think we, we might disagree a little bit on that one. The, the total, though, I want to talk about a little bit. These teams play at the 93rd and 120th tempo. And we have a total of 66, guys. I mean, it's 66 and a half at some of the places now. So I, it looks like it's going up. And this is a really high total for that kind of pace. These teams have to be super efficient to get to that. Do you think they will be? I mean, Elko's a good defensive mind. I don't know if Kansas' defense is terrible. Is it possible? Certainly, of course, it's possible. Uh, I wouldn't want to bet an over here. I would lean to an under fairly strongly in this one. So I kind of like Kansas and the under based on the tempo here. Yeah, it's 64 and a half was the total at opening and it's jumped up to 66. Like you said, there's some 66 and a half. Uh, it, it is strange looking at the pace because you are expecting a really efficient offensive game from Kansas against uh, Mike Elko in a defense that is known to travel. I mean, they have done fantastic things with his defense. Uh, Parker, Duke quarterback Riley Leonard here is electric in his own right. We've talked a lot about Jalen Daniels here lately. Uh, 6.68 yards per rush for him, two touchdowns to go along with 73% completion percentage. Uh, with 723 yards, five TDs, he does have the two interceptions, of course. Uh, but Duke, I mean, their offense, number 33, PPA per drive. Uh, Kansas, their defense is just atrocious when it comes to all of the advanced statistics. Uh, I'm curious how you feel about this one. Yeah, well, uh, Duke and Duke and Leonard have been able to keep uh, uh, keep that pocket clean and, and are doing well. Seventy four point six percent completion when he's clean uh, or unpressured on a drop back, and so that at the very least is proof of concept for what Duke wants to do. You know, obviously pressure is a big wrinkle, and and Kansas hasn't been exactly getting. Um, getting pressure. I think that West Virginia's offense is better than Duke's offense, but I think that Duke is, is by, by and far the better defense, the best defense that um, Kansas has faced this year. You know, 
Houston lost um, a couple guys to the NFL last year, two cornerbacks and a defensive end. And looks like that really took a bigger hit than we thought was going to take on the consistency of that defense. And so Kansas against them moved the ball really well. But again, they have some issues. They've struggled with some inferior opponents. Um, my numbers actually would agree with Kyle. I would I would take Kansas and I would take the under um, by a couple of points for, for what it's posted right now. But um, I'm going to stay away simply because I think Jalen Daniels has a dual threat that against a uh, new install on defense with Duke and Elko, um, it, it might create some wrinkles they haven't anticipated or haven't fully addressed. And I think that Kansas has that explosive play uh, possibility. So I, I, I think that Duke's defense is going to show us who Kansas is, but there's so much uncertainty with um, Kansas against uh, a little bit more of a quality opponent, not, you know, maybe, maybe somebody who's going to prepare for them a little bit more seriously than West Virginia or Houston uh, evidently did. One thing I will say about Kansas, you know, the, the progression for Kansas has been don't be a meme, right? And then losing to Kansas is not a joke. It's not something people tweet about. And, and that's become true. Um, you know, last season, Kansas had one of the highest rush rates over expected against. Teams were not game planning for Kansas. They were not respecting them at all. They were lining up and running their play. This year, that rush rate over expected against is in the 70s. Um, teams are having to adjust their game plan. They're having to um, uh, really attack Kansas and specifically game plan for them. So that's a huge step for this program. Uh, and I love that I cast a, a small oh, Kansas over two and a half um, ticket there uh, as, as well. I, I So I'm slightly inclined to agree with, with Kyle, but as I've said, just some uncertainty on both sides. I'm going to stay away from it. I am not going to stay away from it. Uh, I like Duke in this spot. This feels like way too much Kansas hype. Situationally, this is ideal for Mike Elko and the Blue Devils. Uh, his defense is really going to be Leipold's first test as far as that offense is concerned. Uh, Duke, number three, PPA per rush defense. Uh, that's that's how you win these kind of ball games. Can Jalen Daniels win a game where he is forced to pass? That's what I want to see. Uh, it's still over seven here at seven and a half. So I'm going to take Duke plus the seven and a half. I will admit I got this one when it was at nine. So I, I bet it almost immediately. I'm going to take Duke here to cover. There is a chance to me that they could actually win the ball game outright, uh, which would make sense because remember, Kansas was still really bad talent wise last year. Yes, they have improved. Yes, things are looking great. But I wonder how much of that is how bad the defenses have been that they faced, et cetera, right? I, I'm just, it, this feels like too much hype too quickly on Kansas. I'm going to take Duke to cover the seven and a half official play on that one.